good morning student now today we will see the next point uh, line parallel to x axis okay here uh, one graph is given in the book see here uh, this is x axis this is y axis and this ad line it is parallel to x axis it is passes through or intersect this y x y axis in a point 4 so then what you have to observe here if we see here the coordinate of point b here x is 2 y is 4 here 3.5 y is 4 here minus 2 y is 4 means all the coordinate of these points y is same there y is 4 okay so if the line is parallel what you learn from this if line is parallel to x axis then the equation is what is the y coordinate that is equation means y is equal to 4 all these points are collinear see here Uh, the y coordinate of every point on the line da this line da is 4 it is constant therefore the line da is described by the equation y is equal to 4 means if they ask the line passes through uh, y coordinate suppose y is equal to 4 uh, at the point 4 parallel to x axis if that is parallel to x axis then y coordinate equal to whatever be the coordinate that is the equation of that line and opposite of that if the line is parallel to y axis then what see here the line is parallel to y axis you see which coordinate is same x coordinate is same 4 4 4 4 means when a line parallel to y axis then what is the x coordinate that is the equation means x is equal to minus 4 it is the equation of this line ps okay means so one for one mark two mark they can ask the question what is the equation of line okay equation of line then if that is passes through y, uh, parallel to y axis then you have to take x coordinate if that is parallel to x axis then you have, you have to take y coordinate that is the equation of that given line so it is very simple but it is observed many of the student they not completing the assignment that assignment is very important huh? So now next point we will see graph of linear equation. Linear equation with one variable like this x is equal to two, y is equal to minus three. We know this is x coordinate, this is y coordinate. Right to the intersecting point only x coordinate positive number negative above all y positive below negative. So here you have to draw both the lines on the same graph. X is equal to two means where is the x to here? From this point here you have to draw the line. Means x is equal to two. It is parallel to which axis? Y axis. And y equal to minus three. Here you have to find y coordinate minus three is here. Here you have to draw the line. Okay. So this is parallel to x axis. These two points intersect here each other. So what is the coordinate of this point? First you have to write x coordinate. Then here you have to write y coordinate. So these are the coordinates of this intersecting point because you have to study this one. Okay, so write the coordinates of intersecting point. So like this, you are you have to find. Okay, so now uh, we'll see the uh, another example that is equation C here. That is linear equation. But if two variable, then how to solve? Okay, so see here this equation two x minus y plus one. Here this y taken that side, it become minus become plus. This y is equal to two x plus. One. So what you have to prepare here? You have to prepare one table. X and Y coordinate, and we know X Y coordinates. So here you have to assume X coordinate and putting it where that value here. Here you have to find Y coordinate. Then that is depend on you. You just take it small numbers because that is uh, highly impossible. Then if you take bigger numbers, suppose you take here fifteen. So fifteen two is a thirty. Thirty plus one thirty one. So can you plot that on graph thirty one number? So that is difficult. So here they have taken small number zero, one, two, one upon two. Don't take fraction that is complicated. Or some are positive, some are negative. Okay, at least minimum three numbers we require. So by putting this value x is zero, this is zero. So y is what one. Miss what value you assume? Put here and find the value of y. So these are the coordinates then one, three, two, five. First x coordinate then. Y coordinate, and then here you have to draw the graph by preparing the table. 
already now you studied if linear equation with one variable directly you can draw the graph okay here like this and if linear equation with two variable here you have to prepare the table then you know how to plot the point already last time you have studied plotting the point and then you have to draw the line so very important thing if you plot this point that line 100 percent passes through all points straight line if your line not passes one point missing here and there means what your v you plot that point that is wrong so you have to check again what is the coordinates what the coordinates you found it that is correct or not so now we have to see practice set 7.2 okay just i will discuss which examples are different that example i will solve so on a graph paper plot this point already you know how to plot a b c what is the figure form here you have to plot this point and you have to join these points whatever be point come a b b c a c join it using the line and observe on that graph what figure is form what is that triangle quadrilateral circle you will get that figure so that is very easy to plot these three points okay you have to do this one write the equation parallel to y axis at a distance 7 we know parallel to y axis means you have to take x coordinate so this is 100 percent x coordinate so what is the equation of this line x is equal to 7 this is x is equal to 7 this is the answer one mark question so similarly here you have to find this equation then the point lie on the y axis here also you have to uh, draw the write the equation of the line and draw the graph means here parallel to y axis you have to find where is the point q and you have to draw the line which is parallel to vertical line parallel to through this point and you have to write the equation again equation parallel to y axis means what is x coordinate x is equal to minus 3 means this uh, first three example uh, you have to try to solve okay this one also this one also okay so this first seven question easily you can solve this eighth and ninth one different draw the graph here you have to draw the graph for this okay i will solve this one and from this i will uh, solve one table here also i will draw two gra lines then remaining you have to draw here i will so draw these two lines then this one you have to draw now how to draw this graph we will see in the uh, notebook actually drawing the graph okay so see now how to draw these graphs So read the example carefully see here first we will see this equation so here you have to find that value if x is x plus 4 is 0 then this 4 be come this side it become minus here y minus 1 is equal to 0 so y is equal to minus 1 come this side plus 1 this 2x this plus 3 goes that side minus 3 and this 2 is multiply it is divide so minus 1.5 5. division is minus 1.5 here 3y this minus 15 goes that side plus 15 this 3 is uh, multiply when it goes this this side divide so what is this 3 5 is a 15 means first if linear equation with one variable is given you have to find the value of that variable okay and afterward you have to draw the graph see this first two i will draw this uh, you have to considering this value you have to draw the this two graph okay so first one x is equal to minus 4 so where is the x is equal to minus 4 see here you can take graph paper that is better for you okay i will solve next example on graph this is on notebook so here i am taking the using the scale 1 1 centimeter distance 1 1 centimeter and taking this one so first one x is equal to minus 4 here x called so here you have to draw one line like this this is for x is equal to minus 4 okay then next is y is equal to plus 1 this is plus 1 so from the plus 1 y is equal to here you have to draw a line automatically this is parallel to this one see here parallel to y is equal to 1 well, through one point if you take an uh, if you will take the graph so it will become proper we will see the next example then third one here you have to draw x is equal to minus 
here minus 1, minus 1.5 means in between this one come. Okay. So, from this line you have, you have to draw the graph and y is equal to 5. Here you extend it. Suppose plus 5 you require now. So, here 5. So, here you have to draw the line. Like this two lines here you have to draw. Then last example if two variables then how to draw the graph. But for this you need tables. Okay, so this is very important. See, because the same example you have to solve in the uh, 10th standard also. So, what is then how to draw? So, first one here x plus y is equal to 2. So, take this x that side. So, 2 this x is plus 2 minus x. 2 minus x. Why we are taking? Because here we have to assume the value of x c 0, 1, 2. Small number we take. Put this value x is 0. So, what is y? 2. x is 1. 2 minus 1? 1, 1. x is 2. 2 minus 2? 0. So, see this one having half mark. Each table having half mark. So, first x coordinate 0, 2. 1, 1, 2, 0. x and y. x and y. Yes, this is simple. See, take only minus y that side. It become plus y. Means here, you have to assume the value of x multiply that value by 3 you will get the value of y suppose 1 minus 1 2 you can take by one that is not compulsory what you value you are you have to take so multiply this one by 3 3 ones are 3 3 into minus 1 minus 3 3 into 2 6 so here 1 3 minus 1 minus 3 and here 2 and 6 second table here 2x uh, plus y equal to 1. So, we have to assume the value of x now. Okay. So, that's why you keep this one as it is. Here y as it is. Take 2x that side 1 minus 2x. Take smaller number 1, 0 or 2. Now, what you have to do? Here you have to put the value of x is equal to 1. So, what is y comes here? 1 minus here minus 2 into 1. So, 1 minus 2 when the 2 it is minus 1 like that also you can solve then next value for second value y is equal a x is equal to 0 means 1 minus 2 into 0 it becomes 0 so y is equal to what 1 for third value y is equal to minus 1 minus 2 into x is 2 so 1 minus 2 to the 4 it is y is equal to minus 3 I think everyone got the ideas how to find this one. So, 1 minus 1, 0, 1, 2 minus 3. Okay. So, this one table we form it. Now, actual graph we have to plot. See here. This is the graph. So, here I have drawn this one by using the pen. So, easily you can see this one. That is, that's why. But you know, your notebook, graph notebook, here you have to uh, draw this graph using scale and pencil only. So, very first thing here I have drawn two axes x and y given the name arrows scale also written on both axes 1 centimeter is equal to 1 1 unit. Okay. This part first you have to do it. Hmm? So, then what you have to do see the table and plot the point. See first one first table we will see here 0 2 so, 0, 2. Where 0? X is 0. X is 0 here. X and Y both are 0 here. And Y is 2. Y is 2 is here. See. So, small dot and small circle. Then, 1, 1. Both are 1. X is 1. Y is 1. So, here. Okay. See carefully. I will draw only uh, 2 graphs. 1 you have to draw. Then, 2, 0. Means Y is 0. X is 2 x is 2, y is 0 is here, x is 2 here. Means for this first table, after plotting this point, here you have to draw one line passes through these three points. It is exactly passes, exactly passes these three points. Like this, here you have to draw one line, arrow, and this is for which equation x plus y is equal to 2. This equation also you have to write.
Understood? See, all three points come on a one straight point. Okay, one more table we'll see. See here. 1, 3. X is 1, Y is 3. Here. Okay, then minus 1, minus 3. X minus 1 is here. Y minus 3 is here. So, plot here. Clearly, you have to find what is X and what is Y coordinate. Then 2, 6. X is 2. Y is 6 is here upside okay then remove the uh, notebook suppose uh, we see then take the scale and check it this all points passes through one line or not see exactly passes huh? then draw one line this is for which equation 3x minus y equal to 0 so we have drawn these three equations, uh, two graphs. So, this last one you have to draw. Okay. So, easily you can uh, draw that using the table. Uh, you can draw that graph. And what they ask, what is the question? Not only the, you have to draw that graphs. Okay. So, draw it here, third line. And draw the line that all points should be passes through one point. I think this is uh, this lesson is over. You complete it and when you will report in the school, that is not compulsory for you. Again, I will repeat. Okay. Those who want to come, they can. They have to follow all the things. Okay. So, see carefully, complete the assignment and send it. Thank you.